Hello, hello. Welcome back to Global Unbamboozlement, where I get it in the record. This is your speaker, S.Y. Draper. Welcome back. Thanks for coming in. Let's jump right on in to today's chat. So, we are here at chat number 19, starting a brand new leg number 5. This is chat number 19, leg number 5, as is now customary. I would encourage you to get yourself caught up to speed. Go ahead and take a look and a listen at the previous chat so that you can have a better picture of where we are today. So today... Of course, as you've seen when you clicked on the title of this video, this journey is all about unpacking color lies. Skin color lies unpacked in keeping with our model for how we do these conversations as if they were a book or a booklet of sorts. We kind of skipped it yesterday, or rather on the previous chat. We didn't quite go in that, in the structure of, of that model. But each chat, ideally, has a subtitle and uh, a glossary of terms. It's not a book. These, these chats are not a book or a booklet. But if they were, each one, ideally, would have a glossary of terms to kind of keep us on track in the conversation. Each one would have a subtitle. Today's subtitle would be just black and brown. Very simply. Very simply. And our glossary of terms, we'll get there in just a moment uh black and brown so mentioned in the previous chat how we we're going to go ahead and talk about these two pieces uh our focal point thus far has been what i said is the leader the leader the key leaders in in this um uh, this troublesome matter of skin coloration ideology um because the the problems that are triggered uh, in the human condition, primarily come out of the obsession with the contrast between these two, and uh, what the uh, what the what we've seen in the human experiment, uh, the negativity and the nastiness that has come out of the obsession with uh, contrasting these two against one another, uh, these so-called folks who wear these uh these folks who wear these so-called skin suits of negro and caucasian or black or white um, particularly in our mess model called north america so the focal point thus far has been primarily around those two the black and the white so-called folks because we all know that's where the primary source spot, source issue, root cause, so to say, of what we see around skin coloration lie ideology is, is, is out of this contrast in what we've seen so far. So the focal point thus far has been here. I wanted to touch these two, the black and brown element of it, just for, just for a bit, uh, because what we're doing here is just calling out the um the, the 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 whole messiness of it right and we have to as we move into talking about the black and the brown piece i do have to step back uh just a bit excuse me just a moment just a moment hold on watch the board for just a moment So I said <clears throat> in a previous chat was going to talk about that whole brown piece and how as of late, when I say as of late, talking about not just in the last month or the last six months, over a course of the last few years, 
you notice that whenever you're listen to, listening to the news media and there is some uh, description of a particular group of folks, so to say, uh, this language of black and brown people comes up. Not so much in, in, in some decades past. But what is happening now, and, and I'll come to the point of why this is important here, it's primarily, I'll go ahead and say this, it's primarily the reason why we brought, rather this piece has been brought um, in, this brown, Uh, and we'll go ahead and say it because this is what this is how it's used in today's North America is to categorize Latinos, Mexicans, and Hispanics. The practice of calling these folks brown has come into play. Now, why is that important here in this conversation? Well, it's back to the contrast. It's back to really uh, falling toward this piece here, this whole Negro, this whole black person piece. Because here's the intention here. The intention is to, if you remember how I mentioned in a previous chat, how the contrast wants to keep the Negro, the black person, who they call nigger, Right. We saw that in the previous chat, how it's all one works in tandem with the other when it comes with, to the language. Check your dictionary. Um, but it's this this idea and this effort of keeping the folks that are labeled with this particular quote unquote skin suit called black to keep them in this in this position of inferiority of 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 this auto uh imagery of uh, darkness and blackness and, and ooh and less than and uh, inferior. And so we bring in this brown piece, I should say, the uh, logic, the, uh, the sick energy that created this whole mess here, this whole color ideation, rather this color uh, skin coloration ideology. So we bring in, we, we've got more um, kinds of people right coming into this particular this particular area of the globe right <clears throat> and this group in particular um and so uh because uh this this north america or mess model has this obsession with labeling folks and 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 making an attempt to keep folks in a certain sort of position in the heart and mind in the human condition right Want to make sure, well, we don't want to, we don't want to call black people brown because that'll bring them up out of this hollow imagery of being uh, the lesser ones, right? Remember the black beans and the, and the black screws, that imagery I showed you? There's a reason for that. And so no, we've, we've got a history here. That nasty energy would say, we've got a history, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good grip on keeping the Negro in that position of black and darkness so that nobody in humanity gets the idea that they're anything better. So when the in this particular part of the, the globe in particular, when this group began to populate this this part of the globe now <clears throat> a little bit more. And uh, everybody's beautiful. Let me say that. Everybody's beautiful. So this is not about somebody, healthy reminder here. This is not about somebody, somebody being less than or greater than or better than or prettier. Everybody's beautiful. All right. Everybody started out on a clean slate the same way as this mess that came in. And essentially skewed the whole the whole matter. But uh, back to our issue here. So not going to be here long. Just want to point out this brief thing because um, like these two uh, have a history of having been pitted against each other, right? Because of the contrast, um, not in the colors themselves, but the language attached to it. Uh, we we want to watch this now 
We want to watch this now because as this group begins to populate this particular area of the globe and be labeled as brown now, there's a, there's a, there's a risk here now to try to pit these two against each other. Watch this now. And so we've got to move, really begin to make sure we're having this conversation so that we can get out of this coloration, skin coloration ideology and not go any uh, further with it. We're at risk here because this new, this new language of tacking this brown color onto this particular group, well, it's not effective. It's wrong, right? Just like with any of the rest uh, here, right? It's, 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 it's a flawed system. It doesn't work. But the idea here, again, why we came in with this brown for these folks is because, well, we have to call them something, that nasty energy would say. We've got to give them a skin label if they're going to be here, uh, this mess model would say. <clears throat> if they're going to be here, we've got to give them, give them a, a crayon color now. And we can't call them black. We can't call them white. We can't call them yellow. We can't call them red. We, so we're going to call them brown. Well, if you'll go back to your own dictionary or to the content on this channel where I pinpoint, rather talk about just briefly, the definitions for these two in particularly, uh, rather in particular, what you'll notice is in fact, I'll say this. I'll say this and I think I'm just going to leave it alone because the matter speaks for itself. There's a lot of folks outside of this particular group or this, 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 this group of people who are labeled as such that fit this if you're going to call people a color that fit this color. That are not wearing these what they would call ethnicities, right, or races. I don't like the language. Let me be clear. <clears throat> Someone say, well, if we don't use these words, what are we going to use? Well, we have to work on that, don't we? Right? Creed is not so bad. Because it's more, it's more, um, it's more uh, vague, right? That being said, we'll get in when we start talking about this gray piece. That's where this word will come, this language, this creed language will come into play. But um, <clears throat> why wow, I've got four of those up there, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. Ethnicity, race, these are words I don't like. But for the purpose of our conversation here, we'll just use, we'll use them. So um, folks that are this ethnicity or this race now, we're seeing increasingly have been, gave, have been <coughs> tagged with the label of brown for what, 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 what is their skin color? Well, if you go and take a, a look, use your Google search engine or whatever you use, Discover how this group of people feels about that. You know what's going to happen? More and more, remember when we talked about census? We talked about census, the Census Bureau practices. I uh, gave you a reference uh, page for um, to see kind of more about what they do. But the takeaway from what I talked about around that, one of the takeaways was this new acronym that they have out there called SOR and that stands for some other race. It's a box now in some official forms where people get to check that box some other race because they don't want to be any of this. They, they, they recognize that they don't fit any of this and increasingly uh, the Census Bureau page tells us that this is what folks are tagging. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. But primarily, black and brown. Skin color lies on pack. Nobody's black. Nobody's brown. These people don't fit this. 
nobody's uh nobody's nobody's uh black <clears throat> what would be our glossary of terms for today uh we'll we'll just say the word black and the word brown you know that is the focus because what we saw in our uh we don't even have to look this stuff up look folks but for the purpose of the conversation and magnifying things, um, it, it, it's helpful to hone in on, get some imagery, right, in our heads as we move through the conversation about any particular word here. Our dictionary would tell us it's a light skin, uh, tan colored, uh, whatever. It's nonsense. It's nonsense when you get down to it. At the end of the day, it's nonsense. But I just want to wrap this up by saying this piece, just like all the rest of the piece, is ineffective of uh, ineffective in labeling any human being. Ineffective. It's a flawed premise. It doesn't work. And watch us now. Watch us now. We've got to be careful here, particularly in this a part of the globe in our mess model so that it doesn't get even even messier and even murkier now that we brought this new piece in we don't want to be we've seen the trouble with pitting folks against each other based on skin color now we've got this other piece in here we've got to be careful now that we don't muck it up right muck up the messaging and the imagery imagery around the lingo uh, that automatically pops into our head now because of what we've done here. These folks are better than brown. These folks are better than black, right? If we want to talk about what does it mean to be the color black? Well, no one's black, first of all. What does it mean to be the color brown? No one's brown. As I said in a previous chat, if we had to use color, like if we just had to do it, if we just had to use colors, brown, for certain groups of folks, would be the closest thing to accurate, but it's still too element elementary and sort of, uh, it's just not complex enough to capture the beauty of the human being and what the human being is, right? <clears throat> The white and the yellow and the red, we haven't gotten into these very much because we don't see this usage as much. If anything, some of this gets talked about, uh, but it did, not much uh, controversy has come up out of using these two. All the controversy is here and here, and uh, we, 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 if we don't watch ourselves, it's going to come in with this piece too. But we've got to disable this, 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 the, the usage of it in, in, in the way that we've done it. We've got to clean it up. We've got to fix it. If we're going to use it, we've got to talk about it in such a way that helps us and does it, that doesn't hurt us, that uh, feeds um, improvement, right, with regard to how we see each other, with regard to how we uh, treat each other. As I said in a previous chat, if we were just being uh, humans, we're just being called, um, we're just being called a color, and that's all it was to it, then that would be one thing. But it's all the language and the auto imagery that, that we're tacking on to it now. And the, the, the sort of assignment of who's better and who's, who's less than better and who's air inferior and who's, right? Because when we look at the, the color white and the, remember the, um, the language around it, where am I at on time? Losing time quickly. Um, <clears throat> white has the best language associated with it. There's no secret there. White has the best language associated with it. I think I'm, gonna, I'm about to stop, so I'm going to leave that there. And so, <clears throat> truth be told, if we're looking at what, it does, what does it mean to be white when we take out the, the uh, let's say we're looking, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to wrap it up for today. But let's say we were looking at the definition of <clears throat> the word white. 
and you'll see in your dictionary where it says it's considered to be a, a, a white person, a person that who is not brown or who is not considered black or who is not colored or what have you. So take that piece out and look at every other piece of ling lingo in the definition of the word white. That being said, every human, every human being has the capacity and ability to be what our dictionary says is white. I'll stop there. You are here at Global Unbamboozlement where I get it in the record.